Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're stopping by for the first time, my name is Vahe and right over here is my 2020 Toyota, S wait a minute, that is not the Supra. That's not the Supra because the Supra is currently at Eastside Motoring where we are currently, where we're about to head to actually. Uh, I dropped the car off last night so the car can get nice and detailed and clean because today we are mounting new wheels and tires and a couple other goodies too. Uh, to the Supra, so it's gonna look amazing. I can't wait. Uh, I've seen the wheels I have not seen them mounted yet because they haven't been mounted yet So I'm gonna keep this intro brief Let's head over to Eastside motoring and get this thing started I can't wait one thing I did want to try though is I keep seeing people snapping their fingers to speed up the process of getting from point A to point B Let's see if it works. I have no idea. Hold on Let's see. All right, let's try this in three two one. Ooh, it did work. Cool. All right. So now we're here at the side motoring. So let's go check on the car and do this unboxing and show you the wheels and see what it looks like on the car and all that good stuff. This Type R looks so nice. Boost Blue, I believe, 2020. All right. So we saved one to unbox. Let's take a look at what the wheels are. So one with BC Forged, TDO Freeze, the new line, in brushed bronze. Look at that. That's what it looks like. Different lights that'll look a little different, but it's a little darker bronze and it's deep, it's wide. So they're 19s. It's gonna fit nice. We got really beefy tires. We want Michelin Pilot for S's, 305s in the rear, and 275s in the front. Stock setup is 19s and they're 255 up front, 275 in the rear, so this is gonna be a nice setup. All right, so we're gonna finish mounting the tires on, then we're gonna mount these onto the car and then I'll show you what it looks like. Actually, while we finish up putting the wheels on, we did an, another thing under the hood. I definitely love that fucking finish though. The wheels? Yeah, right, it looks so good. We got these Burger Motorsports strut braces under the hood, finished in red to finish off that red little red theme and accents that we got going on. So it should help with the handling, handling and the rigidity of the chassis in general. Something small, it's a nice touch when you pop the hood too, so. Looks good, looks good. Brian the man working hard. All right, so. Drop this hood down, we'll finish mounting everything, and then we'll show you what everything looks like on the car. Can't do it, can't do it. Couple more minutes, people, couple more minutes. Couple more minutes and the car's gonna be all detailed up. Everything on the car, I wanna show it to you all nice and clean. It's gonna look so good. I saw it on a, you know, on the dirty paint, but it looks so, 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 so good. That dark bronze, like, look, that finish on the black paint of the car, oh, it looks so clean. That's uh, just, a couple more minutes, I swear. A couple more minutes. A few moments later. There it is, in the semi-light, I guess. But, car's all cleaned up. That bronze color looking so good, if I can make it out with a light. 
the rears are so wide, 305s, but it fills in a lot nicer than the stocks. Super, super clean. I'm super happy with it. It's gorgeous. Really sticky tires, like really, really sticky tires. You can see all the rocks and stuff in there, but Still on stock ride height. We are just talking with Brian about that. Probably be fixing that with springs at some point, so no hating on that height right now, but it still looks pretty good. All right, enough talking. I'm gonna go drive this for a bit. And then give you my impressions. Oh man, I can't wait. Ah, all right. So I just got back from driving the car around. Um, I had to get the uh, wheel or the tire sensors I should say uh, I guess the car to recognize it you have to drive it for a little bit because they're different tires are different specs uh, and it's a different wheel so definitely feels a lot stickier road noise road harshness I don't really feel anything different from stock uh, but I only drove it for maybe like five miles I didn't really drive it too too much between the stickier contact and the wider contact surface of the tires the lighter tires are like there's so much lighter 305s in the rear and 275s up front stock it is actually 255 up front and 275 in the rears and they are on stocks are on pilot super sports and these are the pilot sport 4s tires all around so it's what i upgraded to it's the i guess it was really the best ones to that would fit on these wider wheels that we have so um, without having to do any type of or deal with any type of rubbing issues or anything like that so seems to be doing fine and between that and the strap mount uh, under the hood I, it definitely feels like it's stiffer it handles a little bit better uh, during turns it's not super super noticeable but I did kind of uh, shuffle the car just a little bit uh, just to see uh, how it how it reacted and it reacted either similar to stock or definitely better. I didn't see any downgrade in performance, so. Again, with the brushed bronze, it's not gold. Uh, it's not gold and it's not super light, so it's the darker of the bronze look. It's a gloss finish, but it's a brush, brushed bronze look. Front and the rears, the rears look so nice. It's nice and deep. It looks really good. I am in love. Five spokes, oh. TDO threes. Absolutely beautiful, 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 beautiful finish. Uh, huge shout out to BC Forged, huge shout out to Eastside Motoring and Brian, you guys are awesome, thank you so much. BC Forged, wonderful, wonderful product. This thing's gorgeous. I cannot wait to take this thing out again on a nicer day. Unfortunately, I just beat the rain. It's supposed to thunder for a couple days, uh, so gonna have to cover this up and store it for now, but absolutely love how everything turned out. Anyways, I'm going to end the video off here. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Appreciate all the support. And if you are new to the channel, stopping by for the first time, please consider subscribing. I have so much super content, as you can see right here. This was like the lighter end of things, but I were planning on ordering and installing tons of stuff for this car. There's tons of adventures going on for this car. So stick around, stay tuned. Uh, hope you all enjoy. And as always, see you next time. Peace.